Hey, you're fine, EPL. You good? You good? Just to uh, games in Houston, um, there was a lot of playing through through Jonas in the post. Just how does that that change the offense when you can, I guess, establish him early and have that element in there? Yeah, it, uh, it gives us a big paint presence, and um, you know it's tough to guard him down there. So usually teams are gonna have to send two of them, and. That gets a lot of other guys. It gets the dominoes falling for us and gets us open looks. But I mean, he was great. You've really seen how the league has changed in terms of like just how centers are used. I mean, is it is it weird like being on a team that has a legit like back to the basket guy? Uh, I mean, nah. I, mean, I played with Jakob this year, and uh, you know Al. Well, he's changed his game a lot last year, but nah. I mean, there's a few guys still in the league left that are real like block threats, but uh, JV is definitely towards the top of those. This weekend and just going back a bunch of games too, it seems like Herb has really been a force at both ends of the floor. What do you think about just the way that he's been productive lately? He's just real, real disruptive, man. He gets a lot of steals, gets his hand on a lot of passes, and you know he's doing great with his bust out dribbles, being aggressive in transition, and and shooting his shots. So uh, I'd encourage him to keep doing what he's doing. Offensively, how important is just playing with pace and like getting to the offense? You know, with a good amount of time left in the shot clock for you guys. It's huge because you know we don't we don't have Z out there. You know who we can just throw it to in, in the half court and things will fall. So you know getting in transition, getting Bi, Cj, and you know our other guards the ball. You know who can break out and play is it, huge for us. Josh, I knew must win games was overused uh, quote, but playing the Spurs tonight, uh, a, a team with a lot of guys are going to be sitting. This, this has to be one of those games where if you want to make that play and you got to win this game. I mean, it's kind of all like that at this point. Um, you know, we're not singling out any team. You know, Spurs are a good team. They play hard and they can beat anyone any night. So uh, we're, just, we're definitely going to have to bring our hard hats and uh, execute. With, with 6 through 12 being separated by two games, do you do you get up in the morning? Do you look at the standings when you get up or do you even just kind of go out and play? No, I just go play. Try to win every game and hope for the best. We were uh, asking every guy on the team um, if you have your favorite place to eat in the New Orleans area. I don't know if you, uh, you just got here, if it's sufficient. Uh, Doris. Doris, I forgot. If there's Doris Metropolitan right in the quarter. You Best know. steak I had in years. You got a, a favorite cut or anything like that? I had a, I think it was like a 23 ounce sirloin the last week after the game. And it was like, it was good, it was great. Popular place on the team. Is it? That was JV. His, his and uh, Larry's too, I think. It's a good spot. Yeah.